Hello everybody, I'm the Big Easy Chef. I'd like to show you how to make tamale pie. Now can you just uh, picture a nice piece of tamale pie with some of that tamale gravy on it? Oh, you really did good. That really looks good. That's the exact tamale pie we're going to be making today. Now this isn't your typical tamale pie where you throw a can of this in, some meat in, another can of this, and uh, put some cornbread mix and bake it. No, it's totally different. This is about as close as you can get to tamales without making tamales. Now, you're going to notice in the video that I use a seasoned ground beef in there. And you're going to ask yourself, why do I have to go to the website to find that recipe? Well, this is why. It's a universal uh, meat. It goes good in many other things, tacos, burritos, chili, etc. So instead of you having to watch a whole video just to see how to make that meat, you can go to the website. You go to TheBigEasyChef.com and you go to the menu, find the recipe vault, click on that, and there you'll find the recipe for uh, the taco meat. Now, there'll be a complete list of ingredients There'll be instructions that's printable, it's for free. There's also a video. You can only access the video from the website. And you're not going to need a password. You're not going to need an email address. It's all for free. There's no obligation. Also, you'll find the same thing for the uh, tamale gravy. So, enough said on all that. Why don't you and I run over into the kitchen, see what's shaking, and get to bacon. Start with preparing your baking pan. These steam table pans are perfect for this. They are half size steam table pans, about 9 inches by 13 inches, and they're deep. Spray the pan with cooking spray. Make sure to spray the bottom and sides. Now take a baking sheet one quarter size, 9 inches by 13 inches. Line the baking sheet with parchment paper. Now spray the parchment paper with cooking spray. Set the pans aside for now. You'll need them as soon as you mix up the crust. The next step is making the crust. You want to use masa. If you look on the package and you'll see this is for tamales. On the ingredients you will see that the corn for this flour was treated with lime water. This is not corn flour or corn meal. If you don't use the correct flour, you won't like the results of your tamale pie. In a mixing bowl, add four cups of masa, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, one quarter cup of olive oil. Use the paddle to combine the ingredients with the mixer. Mix this for about a minute to make sure all the ingredients are completely combined. Once ingredients are completely combined, now add four cups of very hot water. Oh, pardon the steam. Here, let me wipe that off. There, that is better. Mix the dough until all of the water is absorbed by the masa. Now add two more cups of hot water. Oh, the steam's back. Let me wipe that lens for you again. Now that is better. Mix the masa for about three minutes, just long enough to combine all the ingredients to make a nice dough. Take your baking pan that is covered with parchment paper. Spread on the masa dough. You can see just how thick this dough is. It's very pliable, easy to spread. Make sure to cover the entire pan. You don't have to worry about making it look pretty or have it perfect. Just make sure you cover the entire pan, as this is going to be the top of your pie. Now with the remaining dough, put it in the pan. This will be your bottom pie crust. 
spread it all on the bottom of the pan, keeping it pretty even. Now take a half size baking sheet, 18 inches by 13 inches. This is going to be your drip pan. I like to cover it with foil as it makes cleanup much easier. Now take your pan with a tamale pie dough in it. Pour in your tamale gravy. If you need a recipe for the tamale gravy, you can find this recipe on my website, TheBigEasyChef.com. You will find it in the recipe vault. It's all for free. Save about one and a half cups of the gravy. Spread the gravy around on the bottom crust. Now add two pounds of taco beef to the pan. If you don't have a recipe for this taco beef, I have one on the website, TheBigEasyChef.com. You can find it in the recipe vault. It's all for free, no password, no email address required. Now spread the meat filling around. Make it pretty even. Take one can, six ounces, of large pitted black olives. Rinse them with plenty of cold water. Add them to the pan. Press them down into the mixture. Now add three and one half cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. This is going to be a deluxe tamale pie. Okay, now for the hard part. We're going to flip over the top crust onto the pie. Now it should have set long enough to just flip right over onto the top of the pie. Oops, that didn't work out good. I flipped and flopped. The side didn't turn over. Oh, not to worry. We can fix this. Using a spatula, we're going to spread the crust around and patch up places that need patching. It will come out fine. Okay, it is all fixed up now. See, you would never know that I flipped and flopped and almost made slop. Place the cover on your pan. Place in a preheated 350 degree oven and bake for 45 minutes. When it's done baking, allow your tamale pie to cool covered for 30 minutes. So when you serve it, the tamale pie should stay together somewhat. You can refrigerate this overnight. It will cut easy into squares. When you serve the pie, reheat some of the tamale gravy, add water if you need to thin it, then serve it hot over the pie. Now you're ready to taste something really good. So, there you have it. Now you know how to make tamale pie, and that's a great, great recipe. It comes out great, it tastes wonderful. I hope you'll try and make some soon. Now remember what I told you about the uh, taco beef and the tamale gravy. It's on the website, TheBigEasyChef.com. It's under the recipe vault. It's all for free. No password, no email address, no obligation. Go there as much as you want. Check out the website. Click all around. Also, remember what they say. You are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I'm the Big Easy Chef.